The Arizona death toll from COVID-19 could top 20,000 this week, just part of the more than 780,000 Americans who have died from this disease. Now, those numbers can be numbing, but one exhibit makes them very real, as Kimberly Silverio Bautista reports from our Washington Bureau. The thousands of white flags blanketing the grounds near the Washington Monument are beautiful when stirred by a slight breeze. But to Suzanne Furstenberg, they are horrible at the same time. Horrible because every flag represents someone who died of COVID. It's horrifying. It's hard enough to look over this vast field of flags. And even what you see is not the total amount of flags in the installation. That total, more than 680,000 as of this morning, stretches more than two city blocks, with more being added every day. Furstenberg said she wanted to give people a sense of how truly large that number is. And so as a visual artist, I wanted to make the number understandable. And the only way to do that was to create an installation using a unit, using something for each person who had died. And the white flag was the perfect item to use. The installation called In America Remember had the intended effects on Dwayne Burns, who wandered the field this week with his wife. Well, the thing that strikes me most is that it's just unbelievable how many people have died from this disease. Uh, you know, you always hear figures about how many people died in the Civil War, uh, and this dwarfs that now. Some of the flags bear names of people who have died and a message from loved ones left behind. People like Chicago resident Lulu Hawson, who came to honor an uncle who died in January. Hawson said she came to D.C. specifically to write a message to him. Just that we all love you, we all remember you, you never Furstenberg will keep adding flags every day until Sunday at sunset. The exhibit ends and the flags will start coming down, but she knows the deaths will continue to rise. What makes me sad is that after this art exhibition ends, the deaths aren't going to end. They'll keep going up and up, and we won't have a way to really honor those families. In Washington, Kimberly Silveri Bautista, Cronkite News. Volunteers working with the artists are filling out flags with dedications from people who can't make it to Washington. And they will be accepting dedication requests until tomorrow for placement on the exhibit. If you would like to dedicate a flag, you can find the form on the website inamericaflags.org.